Hi, everyone. This is Martin Petilla for Life Enthusiast Podcast. And with me today is Charlie Shup. And Charlie is uh, with a company known as The Speed of Light. And we are going to be talking about light healing your body. Charlie, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you bet. Um, should we call it Speed of Light or should we give it a different name? Uh, Speed of Light is great. Uh, that's kind of the, uh, the line of products that we're developing. Our specific product that we are um, that we released is called the bodyguard. So the bodyguard. Yes. So light is one of those incredibly important things when it comes to human health. And of course there are people who live on light alone, watching the photons come through their eyes and so on. I think we're not going to be that sophisticated, but there is a whole lot to be said about light entering the human body, right? Yes, there is. Uh, we're not that much different from plants. Right. There's something called a chromophore in every cell, right? Yes, there is. Uh, and and those, uh, those chromophores and the mitochondria in each one of your cells has a photoreceptor uh, on each one of them. And there are specific wavelengths that uh, are both absorbed by chromophores, but also uh, extremely important is that there's a photo window. So only certain wavelengths uh, can enter past your skin, aren't absorbed by things like water, other chromophores, uh, and uh, can reach the target uh, for recovery. So you guys have done some research about that, huh? We've been we've been in R and D uh, for this uh, this product and uh, development of our photobiomodulation technology for uh, a little more than five years. Uh, it started uh, kind of as a uh, a family competition where we uh, we wanted to start to use uh, science and engineering to try and figure out how we can uh, perform better and beat other family members in uh in some endurance races uh that we would that we would host every year so uh, that's fantastic actually talk about that so you're, you're um actually finding that you can strap this thing on a person while they're working hard or putting out energy right <clears throat> yeah that's the that's been the driver um for the the startup of this uh this product and uh and kind of our whole driver for our company has been uh, to try and find a intra-exercise, uh, intra-regular um, everyday life product that um, that people can wear uh, and uh, gain the benefits of light therapy without uh, without having to go outside naked uh, at sunrise and sunset every day. Yeah, I mean, I, I totally appreciate the fact that you're pursuing the peak performance, which of course I'd love to talk to more people who are healthy and want to do even better. But I suspect that the same technology will also work on people who are at the margins of health seeking improvement. Yeah, yep, that's, uh, and I think that's, that's really what the bodyguard um, is uh, specifically designed for. And we, uh, we designed the, uh, the product to be uh, something that can uh, target some of the extremely important areas of your body, which is uh, some of your ancillary breathing muscles, uh, your low back, and uh, some of that kind of lung tissue and uh, super important critical functions in your body. And the pivot that we made away from the uh, peak performance specific product uh, to, uh, to the bodyguard was uh, in response to what we had seen from, uh, from both people going on ventilators, getting massive amounts of lung damage, uh, having uh, oxygenation problems. And we, we saw some of those things uh, and the doctors uh, that are in our team and on our group were experiencing it firsthand. And we said, hey, we know that this product uh, does an amazing job to drive uh, oxygenated hemoglobin uh, in your body. Uh, it does an amazing job to, uh, uh, to release nitric oxide uh, from that ATP cycle, so we we set out to make a product that uh, that we thought could have an impact. It could help uh, not not only the peak performance athletes, but people who are uh, struggling with just basic health issues. So, well, just give some examples. So, on the performance side of things, like what sort of improvements did, did these people get? That is that's a very difficult question to answer. Uh, 
And, however, we are we're doing everything we can to try and uh, to try and have definitive definitive answers and conduct studies uh, that are specifically correlated to performance. Uh, there's a there's a massive body of uh, of evidence. Uh, in fact. I was just reading an article uh, this morning about the IOC investigating photobiomodulation uh, as a performance enhancement tool that they are going to try and regulate. I don't know how that would work, uh, but uh, there's there's a there's a number of uh, of really well executed studies that show that you have uh, uh, both longer endurance um, when you're when you're using the product and those products um, and those studies are specifically targeted to uh, pre-exercise treatments. Uh, so one of the ways that I uh, uh, kind of think about that is it's, it's almost a, a warm up and an optimization for your body. So it helps to drive oxygenation. Uh, it helps to vasodilate. It helps to uh, get nitric oxide uh, flowing in the blood. And so when the endurance event happens, there are, uh, there are people in you know, non-peak performance states that get more than a 10% increase in, uh, in total endurance. Um, well, you know, I was hoping that you just start talking about your or, or own experience doing some endurance event or something like that. Oh yeah, so, uh, so one, of the, one of the extremely important things for us is that this product actually holds up uh, and uh, and can withstand some type of event. Uh, so we have uh, we've worn these products in uh, cross country ski events, the the American Birkenbinder. So it's a 50 kilometer uh, ski race in northern Wisconsin, uh, where we uh, we have the lights integrated into our ski outfits. Uh, we've worn them for uh, an event called the Triple Bypass, where we biked 120 miles in one day over three mountain passes and. Uh, and had the lights uh, in uh, with a with a battery pack, and uh, and they survived all of the tests. Uh, we have a huge library and museum of prototypes that have not survived the test, uh, but we um, we're really excited about the product that we have right now. Um, we're using uh, some kind of specialized materials um, that we've gone through, uh, you know, long R and D test periods. Uh, everything is manufactured in the United States, which we think is amazing. Um, we make, uh, we custom design all of our own circuits. Uh, we add all of the kind of highest quality components and highest quality materials that we can add uh, into the product. And uh, that has given us the ability to start to test this under uh, extreme endurance activities. Yeah, I'm really pleased that you're um, keep keeping the American robots well employed. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's it's kind of neat to know that uh, these days, where you can employ the uh, numerically controlled uh, machines, that the precision is awesome and the uh, quality is consistent, and mm -hmm. you don't have to rely on imports. You make it right in your whatever backyard. Yes. Yeah, right. Yep. Is it a yeah. barn? I, I hope the audio is okay because the manufacturing uh, is right on the other side of this uh, this wall, and you know I'm sure I'm sure we'll hear some noise at some point uh, coming through. But uh, in terms of the um, the uh, specific targets that I can say that I notice the big time whenever big time whenever I'm using the product is that. Um, there is uh, dooms, which is delayed onset muscle soreness, and this is almost like a magic eraser uh, that takes away that uh, that feeling of soreness and tiredness and um, and fatigue uh, after an endurance event. Um, and uh, the same thing where you can, um, without needing to warm up and stretching and doing all the rest of the things that uh, more serious athletes have time to do, uh, I'm able to uh, complete these events, compete in these events, uh, and be able to uh, feel like I actually uh, uh, have the time to do the things I need to do. Great. So could you talk a bit about all the, uh, the science-y bits of it? Like we're dealing with the life lights, wavelength and pulse rate and amplitude and 
uh, well, there are multiple controllable, hmm, what shall we call it, qualities of it, right? Yep. So you guys did a whole lot of research into this, didn't you? Yes, we've done a, we've done a ton of research into this. Um, we've done a ton of uh, uh, studies on ourselves. Uh, we do have a few IRB approvals. Um, we've done studies at the Mayo Clinic. What's that stand for, IRB? Uh, the International Review Board. So if you want to conduct a, a study on a human being, you need to have it approved by an international review board. So um, any research institution or any, uh, any qualified uh, research institution uh, needs to get a study approved first through the IRB uh, and make sure that it's both uh, safe uh, and going to be effective and have the uh, kind of statistics and, uh, and outcomes that, um, that are going to help build the body. So you've studied and studied. Talk about the details of it, would you? Yeah, so um, so one of the very key uh, distinctions is the ability to uh, pulse the light. Uh, so we use uh, pulse width modulation with a microcontroller um, that we have uh, on our board. We have uh, firmware and software that we've written uh, that can control um, both the pulse width modulation and the frequency at which the light is delivered. Um, and that's uh, that's kind of akin to any adaptation that happens with the human body. So if you smell a strong smell right away, it's uh, it's it's something that hits you in the face, and then uh, your olfactory bulbs start to adjust, and uh, and that smell is not nearly as strong as it is. So there's amazing yeah. adaptation. Uh, the yeah, same you thing you delete happens. it right, like you come into the room where you've been cutting onions, you know yeah. about it, and then five minutes later you don't know. Yes. Yep. And then you walk outside and you walk back in and you realize, holy cow, it smells like onions in here. Yeah. And so uh, how does that relate back to the light? Yep. So the same thing happens uh, with um, with those photoreceptors that are on each mitochondria. So uh, if, uh, if you blast just a single uh, continuous wave of light at that, those photoreceptors, they will also adapt. Uh, and there's Another very key uh, scientific understanding that is uh, the biphasic dose response. Uh, so a biphasic dose response is uh, uh, kind of a sweet spot. So if you deliver too little energy uh, into the system, then you won't drive the metabolic reaction. And if you drive too much energy into the system, then you also stop the metabolic reaction because that adaptation or the um, or the receptor stops taking in uh, that light energy. Great. So, so the the testing um, that really is extremely important uh, to dial in is what is that biphasic dose response uh, with the specific di device that we have. And what are the parameters that we need to program in order to optimize what the oxygenated hemoglobin uh, levels are with a treatment, uh, optimize what the frequency levels are because that has a, another big impact in how the photoreceptor can, uh, can take in that light. Uh, and then you know, how do we balance not delivering enough and, uh, and over delivering. And I think that's one of the big misnomers that we've learned in the marketplace so far is most products put out power comparisons and they say, we deliver 450 watts of power. And it seems like it, people put out comparisons of number of watts to number of dollars and a whole bunch of uh, yeah. parameters. It's, it's a lot like me saying, I will deliver to you a load of oranges and I'll dump it on your yard. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yep. So uh, more power is not better. Uh, you need to have uh, smart power and smart delivery of the light uh, in order to optimize what that reaction is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is important. And I'm so impressed that you guys have taken the, the I mean, this is, this is a hard earned knowledge, right? Yes, it is. It's very hard earned knowledge. And uh, it, we're, we're lucky that we have the benefit of the uh, team members that we have. So we have, uh, we have an MD, PhD radiologist uh, who really understands uh, how uh, photons and waves enter the body. 
We have a, a dermatologist um, who specializes in light delivery um, and uses it in his practice every day for anything from cancer treatment to, uh, to a whole bunch of different uh, skin conditions. Uh, we have a exercise physiology uh, a family practice doctor who is um, amazing at uh, synthesizing what, uh, what the power delivery pieces are and, uh, and running the tests uh, for uh, the biphasic dose response curve. Uh, and then we also have a, a computer and electrical engineer and that allows us to uh, both design, uh, build, test, and study uh, what those different parameters are and how uh, we make a decision uh, tree to deliver uh, the best type of uh, light energy into your body. Great. So the results on the back end of this one could expect would be inflammation down, endurance up, pain down, mm -hmm. joy up. I don't know yeah. what else. <clears throat> um, I mean, that, those are, those are some pretty big buckets that, uh, right. Right. Like enjoyment of life yes. or, or you mentioned the skin. Well, the product, as I see it, the body bodyguard, do you have one nearby that you could just yeah. sort of hold up? Yep. Um, yeah. So this probably isn't easily put on your face, right? Like this works best when wrapped around your back or chest. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, uh, this, this product is specifically kind of, uh, targeted to larger areas of your body. So it, it works around your chest. Uh, it works around your back. Uh, it works, uh, on your larger, uh, like around target. the leg kind of thing. Yep. yep. And it can be, it can be kind of, uh, wrapped and applied to really any part of your body. Uh, but what like we, what hamstring we injury, that sort of thing, right? Yep. Uh, what we found is that when this is applied to the low back and targets the kind of ancillary breathing muscles, uh, uh, around your, uh, lungs, you can drive kind of one of the highest reactions, um, uh, in your body for just overall, uh, oxygenated hemoglobin levels, uh, nitric oxide, um, uh, release. Uh, so that's, those are kind of the two targets that we really honed in on with this specific, um, uh, with this specific product. And it's, it's, uh, it's not the very best one for carpal tunnel syndrome or, uh, an ankle injury. Uh, but in terms of targeting larger areas of your body, it's, right. it's but I could visualize laying my forearm on, onto this. Yes. Yep. Yep. And that's where that's, that's the setup that I uh, typically have is anytime I sit at my desk, um, I have the device right on my desk. And after a few hours of zoom meetings all day long and typing on the computer, uh, I start to get a crick in my shoulder and I put the, just put the bodyguard inside of my shirt, uh, and it automatically cycles. Um, so it is a 15 minute on 30 minute off. And so when we run our oxygenated hemoglobin, uh, studies, when we've done exhaled nitric oxide studies, we found that it takes about, about seven and a half to, you know, there's kind of a variable range according to who is the uh, test subject, but about seven and a half minutes to hit a peak, uh, um, oxygenation and our light stay on for another you know, seven minutes. And okay. that curve remains elevated for about 30 minutes after treatment stops. Um, th there's a lot of factors that go into it. Uh, you, can, you can deflect that curve by drinking cold water or eating food and diverting blood flow uh, you know, back to that digestion mm -hmm. system. But if you're just at your desk and you're not doing anything else, after 30 minutes is when um, well, that, drop -off, yep, that drop off starts to happen. Uh, so the device cycles back on uh, for another 15 minutes. And what we found is that you can keep that, um, that oxygenation curve and, and kind of that recovery um, happening in your body uh, consistently with that cycle. Mm -hmm. So does this need to be uh, directly against your skin? Uh, so that, and that's, yes. And that's why we designed uh, this product the way that we have designed it is that um, there is a, there is a layer of foam uh, that, 
uh, that holds the diodes uh, just about a sixteenth of an inch away from your skin. And so uh, the dose delivery uh, and and the way that the light comes out of the diodes, it's a um, it's an inverse square of drop off. So if you are one foot away, um, you have an inverse square of light power that's coming out of your panel to what can be absorbed uh, by your body. And that's a complicated equation. And I don't think that, uh, I don't think that people uh, are crunching inverse squares in their head if they're using something that is, uh, that's not, I guess, directly against the skin. Well, you uh, could just say that it drops off dramatically with distance. Yeah. Yeah, it drops off dramatically. Uh, so, okay. uh, so we um, we have a uh, a light meter um, that is a laboratory grade light meter that we test all of our devices on. Uh, we program the devices, test them after um, after being programmed uh, to make sure that the uh, the jewel dose delivery um, is exactly as we had specified. Right on. And so, how? Uh... How easy is it to clean the body oils and whatnot from this? Uh, it's it is very easy. So this is um, this is a an uh, an EVA foam, and so it is a uh, a closed cell um, cross link foam that is naturally uh, antimicrobial. So nothing can really stay on the surface, and this can be fully sanitized. Uh, you can wipe it down with really uh, any clean soap and sponge. Yeah, mild soap and sponge. You can use uh, you can use a wipe, um, a sanitizing wipe with alcohol if you wanted to clean it with alcohol. Um, and uh, it's a it's a really pretty easy thing to keep clean. Okay, so can you talk a bit about your company itself? Like, how are you guys set up, or a bit of history, a bit of glory, whatever? Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, like I mentioned, we have been in R and D for a very long time, and it, it's been kind of like a side passion project, uh, project for uh, the, the majority of our team. Uh, so we have the, the doctors that are kind of involved in the uh, yeah. medical advisors. We, um, we have some intellectual property that we filed um, that's around exactly how the dose delivery happens. Um, and I, uh, took the plunge and said, hey, if we, if we wanna do something other than just uh, go to the hospital and test this thing and then compete against each other, uh, we have to make this a real company. Uh, so I, I used my manufacturing uh, uh, equipment and experience that I have. Uh, my background is in architecture, uh, but I, I find more joy in creating products that are gonna uh, help people and impact people. So you're uh, doing miniatures. Yes. Yep. So we're, yes. And it's, it's amazing how co complex uh, a, a product like this can be uh, compared to a building. Uh, you think that, you know, creating a whole building and uh, the architecture and all of the things in, that needs to happen is complicated, but the human body and the stresses that someone can put on a device is, uh, is unbelievable. And I think that was the, uh, one of the reasons for our very long uh, um, R&D timeline was that we needed to know that our circuit, our device, and what we were going to build uh, wasn't going to break. Um, and you could, uh, you could beat it up as much as you possibly wanted, uh, and, uh, and, and nothing's going to happen. Uh, so um, we're located in uh, our manufacturing facility is located in St. Paul, Minnesota. So the Good old Twin Cities. It's all made with love in Minnesota, and so you don't have um, all the distractions <laughs> of uh, beach and the mountains. You work. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yes, that's exactly right. We we have uh, ice and snow for the majority of the year, so might as well uh, might as well work. It's great. Okay, so um, have you sold many of these yet? Um, so we just we just launched this product um, in uh, the very end of December uh, in 2020, and so we just we launched our website. Um, we're finding uh, wholesalers and retailers uh, and selling the product primarily through our website. Um, we've started to get uh, a little bit more traction, and 
uh, we're, we're learning uh, more and more every day on, on what people are uh, um, looking for in a photobiomodulation product and, um, and how we differentiate ourselves from the uh, more power is better marketplace that I think is, um, is kind of prevalent from what we've seen. Yeah. So I guess we can expect uh, developments over time. Uh, yeah, do you want to see a couple real quick? Just a, a sure, sneak yeah, just show the direction where we're headed. Yeah, a sneak peek prototype. Uh, so uh, knowing that this product is not... Uh, so the I, final look, maybe? Yep. Um, so we know that we need to be able to um, use this product in a whole bunch of different uh, applications. So uh, pain doesn't just happen around your low back and lungs. Um, so we have... Uh, new, uh, smaller prototypes, we've, uh, we've kind of... So uh, where would you put this? Um, so this is something that is, uh, that's able to be used in this orientation uh, perfectly, which is kind of the smallest radius that you have on your body. Right. Uh, so th it works extremely well for the wrist. Yeah. Uh, it works extremely well for the shoulder and can form into really uh, any, uh, Joints. part or place in your body and so um with this product you would be able to um wear multiple versions of this so you could have uh you know one on each hamstring uh one on each shoulder uh mm -hmm. you can um you can have multiple uh multiple devices running and kind so, of so this side that was facing the camera that's that's actually the business end of it right yep this is the yep this is the business end of it um so this is where we have uh, the diode array um, that comes through here. We have uh, some through holes uh, that are through here for breathability. Um, yeah. uh, and then uh, the backside is just the, the foam product. Great. I'm also wanting to say that I'm impressed just how competitively you've priced the product with all the, I mean, this is a sophisticated device, way beyond of what that ordinary deck of LED lights from China will do right yeah yes yes and uh we to go back to the company question i think that's uh the way that we've done that is to stay um uh as lean as we possibly can and be as efficient as we possibly can so we can deliver value uh in our product that we're making and we really believe uh in the quality uh of the product um the quality of the components that go into the product and uh, the science uh, backing behind what we're making. Um, and so, um, yeah, I love that about you. It's, it's the humbleness and the, the, the groundedness. I guess that's, that's the good old cold weather American spirit. Yes. Yep. That's yeah, I guess that's what happens when you're in Minnesota. Yep. It's great. Awesome. Love it. Okay. Well, I, I think it's clear. So if, if this has not gelled in the listener's mind yet, the reason you want this is when you want the body to perform better. There are, inflammation brings five problems. Redness, heat, swelling, uh, pain, and loss of function. And when you bring light and when you improve the uh, mitochondrial function, you reverse all of this. That was a great description. That was a great right. description. So just remember, if it hurts or if it's swollen or if it's just not functioning as it should, this light will help. Thank you very much. Thank this you. Been, really uh, Charlie Shoup, are you the CEO? I am the CEO. Of Speed of Light. And Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet. You reach me at life-enthusiast.com. Thank you.